very good morning everyone it's a pleasure to be here with you this morning and be able to share my views uh, but before i go there let me share my excitement to be at the amcham forum i've had my association with amcham for a few years now and uh, i was chairing the amcham india chapter so it's been a delightful journey and i thank the amcham team in singapore for giving me this opportunity it's it's a great moment for us to be able to share uh the learnings that we've had over the last one year however unfortunate uh the incidents have been and the overall environment have been it is still a moment of great learning for us which is completely unprecedented in in all of our lives and that presents a great opportunity for us to do things which are very different and drive drastic change versus incremental change i'd like to share with you our learnings and some of the trends that we that we see across in the tech industry But before i go to the trends i think we are at a very pivotal moment in time as an industry if i look across the world uh, the international monetary fund projects that global gdp will contract about 4.4% in 2020 as the pandemic economic impact has nearly affected every country in the world the contraction that we've seen in most advanced economies was actually projected to be about 5.8% with a comparatively muted 3.3 decline in emerging markets and developing economies as we look ahead to 2021 and i'm really looking forward to the vaccine availability on a much broader scale and the distribution of that vaccine it gives us great hope uh, of a of a very tough situation that we are um, uh, coming out of that has had untold uh, you know impact on our lives more effectively addressing the health crisis also means economic recovery that has much become becoming a much more stronger possibility as we move on to enable this recovery companies and organizations across every industry are accelerating their shift to new ways of working and now so called the digital ways of working and i always reflect back and think digital is not new digital existed before the pandemic it's just that it's now assumed a very different dimension digital was a part of the strategy in in most companies digital is now the strategy in most companies and that's the shift that we've seen in fact mckinsey estimates that uh, uh, the pandemic has fueled a 3 to 4 year acceleration of companies adopting digital technologies in different aspects of their business to really support the customer and the supply chain changes that have happened business as usual is just not enough to jump start the growth that we are seeing in 2021 The most successful companies large or small are embracing technology to modernize their organizations to drive efficiencies but importantly serve customers and the new expectations of their customers in today's time exploring uh, the solutions that enable them to really do this in a sustainable manner now as we look at this there are three specific trends that business leaders must consider to fuel their recovery and really chart the course of uh, growth 2021 onwards The first one in our mind is that every business needs a digital front door. Let me explain. The very remote nature of our lives, which is here to stay, is compelling businesses not to only rethink the customer experience, but also to now drive their businesses through data versus gut. Many of us have kind of come around their industry journeys, taking decisions with a combination of data and gut. now is the opportunity to really fundamentally change how we take decisions a physical footprint is no longer enough to sustain a growing business today customers they demand a digital front door that is transcending virtually every industry i'll give you a few examples healthcare providers need a very secure scalable platform that supports uh, a digital interaction with the patient uh, something which has been famously known as telemedicine in the past in retail companies are using ai and machine learning to deliver a much better more accurate online experience the digital front doors are also changing the way governments work and engage with citizens like leveraging uh, the cloud to distribute uh, unemployment insurance online and now the vaccine distribution etc with digitization also comes the opportunity for businesses to use data analytics to make smarter decisions and get closer to their customers by creating a more useful and productive experience how organizations create and transform their digital front doors will define their opportunities and more importantly their relevance for tomorrow let me move on to the second aspect of once you've decided to have a digital front door what do you need to do as a company to really make it come alive 
really impact your, your cost structures, you have to re-platform for the future. The macroeconomic and the geopolitical uncertainties, they create unknowns for every business. Now, this is leading CEOs and CFOs to continuously look for areas in their organization that they can optimize. It's important to realize that the cost of technology in tomorrow's world as you embrace more digital will go up. But how do you balance that with the need to grow your business? So the balance between using capital for the core and operational expense for really uh, you know, satiating your technology desire is something that is important. Buying, maintaining, and upgrading the technology infrastructure, which is the way we did it in the past, is not only difficult, but increasingly expensive and prohibitive due to the inflexible IT systems that we get uh, riddled with once we do it that way. When you buy fixed infrastructure, you have it whether you use it or not, and that's not an environment you want when your costs are going up. When you move to a consumption-based model, which is, which is now called more the cloud, you invest just the right amount, enabling you to tune consumption to meet demand. This allows you to invest or reinvest the remaining capital to really create more business impacting uh, influences like customer experiences that will drive your value creation. Cost savings and the operational efficiencies are two of the greatest benefits to moving to a more consumption based model. And the good news is that the consumption based model of technology has now matured out. It's no longer early days and nascent that people have not seen the benefit. It's really, really matured out. In fact, Gartner estimates that infrastructure as a service is expected to grow closer to 28% in 2021. Additionally, companies are also realizing the potential of having a multi-cloud strategy, which allows them to really achieve the best of all the worlds, achieve an open, secure infrastructure that can run in any environment. Growing and innovative companies are moving their entire structure, infrastructure from an on-premise environment to a more hybrid and finally a, a cloud environment to really transform its digital operations. They're embracing a, a multi-cloud strategy and harnessing the benefits and opportunities to transform their companies in the new digital world or the, or the world that will be led through digital in that sense. The third aspect is having had the technology and having figured out a way to invest, it's extremely important that your workforce and your organization embraces the new ways of working. The future of work, and for that matter, the definition of the workplace itself has completely transformed in 2020. You know, look back into your organizations and if somebody had asked you a question, can you actually go 100% remote? The answer would have been a resounding no. And look at where we are today. I think we started somewhere, we landed a hybrid. More and many companies across in the industry have taken very bold aspirations on how they see the workplace of the future. While the pandemic, as we know it, will one day subside, and I hope and pray it happens very fast, a new way of working is here to stay. And the heightened need and the urgency to rethink how people think get done is more important than ever before. In fact, I go on to say that the opportunity to completely transform our workplace is actually the biggest opportunity of our lifetimes to drive drastic versus incremental change. We see the need for a new hybrid work environment, one where companies or employees can use a digital workspace that allows them to collaborate on a flexible environment to generate new ideas, connect with each other in new ways, a successful transition into this era of work will actually hinge on how people keep how companies keep their people engaged, productive, and connected while reevaluating existing communication and collaboration tools that are required to make employees uh, very successful and productive. The most innovative companies will need to rethink how employees collaborate with each other, how they support the frontline workforce, and how rapidly they digitize their customer experiences. As we close the chapter on year one of this very tough transition we've seen as, as the world together, we turn the page to another new one that 2021 will undoubtedly bring even more change. How each company responds to these challenges and opportunities will redefine their relevance in the future. Those who lean into change, no matter how uncomfortable, and embrace the opportunity to fundamentally transform will emerge way stronger than before. As I said in the beginning, it's a challenge, unprecedented, but it's also an opportunity unparalleled in our lives. And we have an opportunity to embrace the new ways unlike ever before. I wish everyone the best. I wish everyone a very safe uh, transition into the new world. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much for the opportunity.